Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to install OpenSIPS server on Ubuntu 15.04. Now before we go with the installation part of OpenSIPS server on Ubuntu 15.04, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is actually meant by OpenSIPS server. OpenSIPS is a free software implementation of the session initialization protocol for voice over internet protocol that can be used to handle voice, text and video communication. OpenSIPS is intended for installation of serving thousands of calls and is IETF RFC 3261. The developer of OpenSIPS is OpenSIPS project. The initial release of OpenSIPS was on August 2008, about 7 years ago, and the stable release is 1.11.1, .1, which was released on May 7, 2014, about 22 months ago. It is currently into its active development status, and basically it is written in C language, and it is available for cross-platform, that is for Linux, FreeBSD, Solaris. Now if you see on the screen, I have already opened the main website that is opensips.org and it shows the different informations, all the latest news, community news, what, what is all about. You can even go with the documentation if you click over here. You can go with all the documentation which is available. You can even go with webinars, you can even go with tutorials, tools, whatever it is available. So let us go to Ubuntu and I will be demonstrating you how to install it step by step. So let us open VMware and let us go to this Ubuntu version. So let me go with full screen. So now I, I have taken the fresh Ubuntu 15.04. On this I am going to demonstrate how to install OpenSIPS server. Now before we start the installation, I have given all the commands over here. You can find all the commands below the video and you can use it for step by step installation. And it is very easy to install. Just follow all the steps as I am doing in this video. So the first command is to log in into root. So the command will be su space minus and let me give the password. And now you can see that I have logged in into root. So let me clear. And now the next step before we do anything on Ubuntu, any uh, software or any step or any server configuration, the first thing is to update the server. So I just update the server by the command that is apt hyphen get update. So it is updating my Ubuntu operating system to the latest versions with all the latest current repositories. Yes, so now we can see that it has fetched about 1492 KB of data and it has updated all my repositories. So let us clear this and let me come to the fresh window. So now we have to install the dependencies with the command apt hyphen get install build essential open SSL bison and flex. So let me copy this command and let me paste it. So you can see that uh, some of the packages are already available and has already been installed. So let us go with continue and let us press enter so that all the repositories like Bison and Flex can be installed along with some of the dependencies like libfl, libsig, segl version 4, m4. So these are the two dependencies. So it is unpacking. So after that, we have to install some more dependencies. I have given this command. So just copy paste this command over here. So it will be requiring about 10 MB of the data to be downloaded and let us work on it. And let me tell you that I will be installing the latest stable release, the latest package which I have got, which is properly working, which I've already tested. So it is almost there. Okay. So let me clear and now let us install the MySQL server with the same command which I have given over here. And during the installation, it will be giving you the prompt of installing some password of a root password, provide the MySQL password. So you can provide the same root password. I will be providing you in just a second. So 
so we are almost done with the download part yes so now you can see that it is asking for the mysql root password so i just provide the password i repeat the password and now you can see that the mysql server has been installed perfectly it is very important because for open sips server mysql will be acting as a backend database server so now what we have to do is to install the open sips package good so now let us go to this uh, folder that is cd slash user slash src and now i have to download this sip pa package which i have already demonstrated you that the latest version is 2.1.2 so i will be taking the latest version itself so i will be using the wget command to download the open sips 2.1.2 server from the open sips.org website which i have already demonstrated in the start of this video So it is about a 5 MB of the package and will not take much time. So now let us see and you can see that it has already been downloaded. So what we have to do is to unpack this package. So let us give the command tar space minus zxvf that is the same file that is open sips hyphen 2.1.2.tar.gz. So let's press enter and now let us press this and now you can see that the new folder has been created so we have to go inside this folder so that we can install it so let us go to this cd open sips 2.1.2 and now run this command you can just uh, see all the files are there header files and c files so we have to make these all files so let us give this command make all so it will be taking about five minutes so till it uh, makes let me pause the video for some time so now you can see that i have already made the install and the make install has given the work everything has been done so let us go with the next command that is make install so i think so it will not take much time yes it has done so now what we have to do is to give the open a SIPS configuration so let us make one directory that is mkdir slash where slash run slash open SIPS so now what we have to do is to go to this command that is cd packaging slash Debian and now let us copy this uh, file to this directory let us copy this and let us copy another file okay so now what we have to do is to run some scripts that is give this command and now let us add some user open sips and now we have to update the sips with the update rc hyphen d command So it is updated. So now what we have to do is to edit some SIPS default configuration file in the editor as so that we are able to run the open SIPS server. So let us go with this command gedit that is graphical editor. Okay, let me clear this so that you can see gedit space slash etc slash default slash open SIPS. So now you can see that it is there and now you have to make the following changes into this command. So the run SIPS, so just erase no and just type yes. So user is equal to open SIPS, group is equal to open SIPS. So the shared memory which is default is 64. So I can increase the shared memory to 128. And now we have to just save the file and we have to exit. So now we have to edit another file that is gedit. Let me clear this again. So gedit slash etc slash init dot d slash open sips. So now what we have to do is to see the daemon. So the daemon is user. You can see over here slash user slash local slash sbin slash this. So we have to just change this uh, thing over there slash user slash 
local slash sbin slash sips and in the last just change no that is run underscore sips to yes so just save this file and now we are almost done now you have to run this command so let me come out with all the directories that is this command that is etc slash init.d sips start so it is started so let us see the status so it is we're running properly very very properly running so let us see the status of open sips services also with this command yes it is running and let us see the net stat running very beautifully so now you can see that i have configured open sips server in ubuntu 15.04 very beautifully with simple steps and easy to deploy so do give it a shot and do like this video if you like this video thank you so much